Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan here. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. And today we're going to review the Luna Display, which turns your iPad into a second screen. Let's check it out. So first off, I want to thank the people at Luna Display for sending me the unit. So taking it out of the packaging here and just the packaging is very professional. I love the package box and it's very tiny, that's for sure. And when you first open it up, it has like how to begin a card on top of it and and as you can see I love the small little red design of the unit and you can get this in mini display port version or USB-C version so right now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my MacBook Pro go to AstroPad Studio their website download AstroPad on your Mac first and go through the setup process and then after you do that go to your iPad and download the Astro Studio app as well. And it will open up for you. And you can go ahead and see the welcome screen and the setup steps. Very easy to sign in, you know, with your account. And then after you go ahead and log in, you'll see the setup screen take you through various steps. And it'll tell you to download AstroPad for your Mac, which we already did. And then once you have that, you know, you want to go ahead and launch AstroPad on your Mac. And of course, you can connect it via Wi-Fi or USB cord. Personally, I prefer the USB cord. It gave me a stronger connection. So you plug your USB into your iPad and into your Mac and you're all set to go. And you'll automatically see the, your desktop screen from your Mac open up onto your iPad. So just make sure you go to your Mac, launch the AstroPad app, and you'll start seeing the setup steps there. And you have the option of telling your Mac that your iPad is on the left or the right side of the screen. Personally, I prefer it on the right side since that's my drawing hand. And you can just jump right into it. The iPad is very responsive and I can go ahead and choose all my, you know, uh, tools that I have using Photoshop and just sketch right along. And I just love the flow of it. My left hand is still free to access my keyboard on my Mac and I can have my right hand just drawing comfortably on it. Um, the Luna Display, you know, allows you to go ahead and have a second screen which turns your iPad into an actual professional graphics display unit. Now drawing on the screen, I noticed this like line preview color, which was kind of annoying me. And so I went to the settings and under the pencil tab, you can choose what, if you want that on there at all, choose different colors. But ultimately I chose none because it was very distracting. I don't normally draw with that lagging line in there in Photoshop. So it was a good way to go ahead and turn that off. So those of you who like it, you can go ahead and keep that. Otherwise, go ahead and turn it off. And then I could just get right back, you know, into my drawing. And so you can use any drawing app that you have on your Mac, like Photoshop, Clip Studio, Sketchbook Pro, whatever you want. And then I can also, like I said, I have my left hand free from my hotkeys, you know. And so as I'm just drawing, it's very natural and intuitive as any other pen display would be. And I thought that that was very, you know, that was a very important part uh, of the whole drawing process. I didn't want something that was too laggy or not responsive at all. And the Astro Pad working in conjunction with uh, Luna Display works great. Now, one thing I do like the best about having this Astro Pad working with Luna is that you can use their magic gestures. And here, my favorite is the two finger touch. And I can always just twist and turn my drawing any way that I need to. Now, sometimes it wasn't as responsive as I would have liked it to be, but I think that depends on how the processor is on your Mac. But you can pinch in, pinch out, zoom in, zoom out, and then kind of twist and rotate, which I love because that's very important for me when drawing on a digital pen display. So if you just had AstroPad, 
uh, AstroPad will allow, the app will allow you to mirror image your desktop display. But what Luna Display does, having that small unit, it will actually allow you to have a second desktop display, you know, from your computer, which is very cool, man. So those of you who are looking at different options, you know, um, if you can't afford a Cintiq or something, then this is a really good, you know, so this would be a good alternative to a Cintiq. Now, as far as pricing, you can get the Astro Pad for $29.99 for the app, and you can get the Luna Display Unit for $79.99 currently at the moment. And on their website, just make sure that you choose between the USB-C version or the Mini Display Port version. They make both of the devices for each of those. So overall, the Luna Display is a great device working in conjunction with Astro Pad. It allows you to get the fullest potential of turning your iPad and Apple Pencil into a full professional graphics tablet. So I highly recommend it. Time for a giveaway. The good people over at Luna are giving away one Luna Display unit and a one-year license of access to AstroPad Studio, which is 160 bucks in value. We're giving it away to one lucky winner. To enter, all you have to do is, one, subscribe to my channel, Cartoon Block, two, subscribe to Luna's YouTube channel, link is below in the description, and three, leave a comment saying, who's your favorite character to draw? This is only gonna be for one lucky winner, and the winner will be announced in next week's video. May the best man or woman win. Deuces.